Good day and welcome to Motor Rose Music. I am Jeff Thiel, the host of the show. Today, I've got the cheapest guitar I've ever purchased, certainly for this channel, the Indio by Monoprice. This is the 66 Classic V2 in Cherry Burst here. And yeah, there's no mistake here. This is uh, meant to look like, uh, kind of like a Les Paul Jr., Les Paul Classic. It is uh, just a single slab uh, and nothing too fancy on it. You got two humbuckers, a volume of tone, and then your selector switch here. Now, as far as the price, I they had this on sale. Uh, usually it goes for like 120 and they had a, a certain percentage, probably like 10, 15%, and I got it for $95 and 19 cents, which includes a gig bag, and I'll get to that in a second. Currently, as of, uh, what is this, the 29th, I believe, or the 28th of May, as I'm filming this, this is on sale for $90.99 with said gig bag. Damn, I got screwed again. Damn, lost like almost five bucks on that deal. Dang, should have waited. Anyways, all kidding aside, uh, this is made with a maple neck. It has a rosewood fingerboard. Uh, I think it's probably definitely a plastic nut here. It didn't really say that I could see. Uh, you've got block inlays here, the old trapezoids. Uh, it is a poplar body is what they're making these out of. I think they used to use basswood, but this is poplar. Uh, bolt-on neck yep. and uh, that's pretty much it you got the adjustable you know the truss rod cover here you got your basic you know cheapo kind of tuners these are uh, <clears throat> you know as, as far as how they're you know made they leave a bit to be desired they're actually the points on them are rather kind of kind of sharp and pokey I mean not like you're gonna cut yourself with them uh, but yeah, they, they're not like the smooth kidney beans of the Grovers, but anyways, as far as like the, you know, fit and finish of, of this, you know, it, it looks pretty good. It's, it's got some knots in the wood, uh, that I can see it's, this isn't like a prime, you know, the best cut of wood there is, but I, I paid $95 for it and it's not the greatest looking uh, piece of uh, maple there. And, uh, you know, the rosewood's not, not that bad looking. You know, all in all, not too bad. Um, I don't see any, no real flaws in the finish or anything like that. Uh, oh yeah, this has got your kind of, you know, standard, uh, I think they call it the, uh, or it's called an ABR1 uh, type bridge. Uh, so, just like a, you know, like a Les Paul, the name of it escapes me. Uh, I, I don't know why. So anyways, now I will tell you about this gig bag. And the reason why I point this out, because this is a pretty damn good gig bag, considering I paid $95 for this thing. It uh, does say uh, Indio on it. Um, my son did take a black Sharpie and <laughs> tried, tried to cover up the Indio, but that's okay. Um, it, this is a padded gig bag. And I don't mean, this isn't like a glorified dust cloth. This is a, I, I mean, for 95 bucks, this is an amazing gig bag. It's, it just has one pocket and there's no like, strap or anything like that inside here but this is you know it, it's a good uh half an inch to maybe a three quarters of an inch of dense foam in here i mean this is usually in this i mean two hundred dollars you don't get you know you, you don't get shit but for 90 it's selling 91 dollars now i would definitely um if, if you're somebody that wants to um get into modding guitars and you know you don't want to start right away with hundreds of dollars man get this thing worst if you screw up the guitar you still got a a decent you know gig bag to store a guitar in i mean you could take this places i would uh i would take this put like my les paul in it if i wanted to uh bring my les paul somewhere but i didn't want to advertise i had a 
you know, a nice Gibson Les Paul case in that. Shoot, I'd use this thing. I mean, you're not going to mail anything in that, but not bad. Um, I will say on the quality front, let me jump back here. Uh, as you'd expect for, you know, $91, the, the, the frets are a little bit on the sharp side. They're not bad. They're nothing like that Donner guitar I got a few, uh, a few months ago. Uh, if you get down here, they get a little bit sharper, but, uh, you know, not, not too bad for the money I paid for this. So, uh, with that being said, let's find out what this thing sounds like. We'll go through, we'll test uh, both humbuckers in all three positions. And uh, we'll, you know, do it clean, do it dirty. We'll do that next. All right, we're back with the Indio by Monoprice. This is the 66 Classic V2. And I'm guessing that is stands for version 2. So let's get to uh, testing out the sounds here. What I'll start with first is I'll go clean through all the three settings here. Got a little reverb and a little bit of uh, delay on it. So here we go. Uh, bridge pickup. Do like the knobs on this. This is your kind of your traditional kind of Les Paul Jr. Uh, type knob here. So let's go to the middle position, both pickups together. Neck pickup. Pretty good, uh, you know, not bad for 90, well, $91 guitar, right? So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll flip back between like a, a tube screamer, like an overdrive, and then into a distortion pedal. Uh, so here we go, here is uh, some overdrive. <laughs> That was the bridge. Here we go with the middle position, both pickups. Now the neck pickup. Not too bad. All right, let's hit it. Uh, let's hit it with a little distortion here. Let's see if I can get away with that. <laughs> All right, now let's try in the middle position. and distortion in the neck position. Does clean up pretty nice there, not too bad. Um, so let's try a uh, little more, little more distortion here.
Ah, well, damn it, I fudged up. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I, I, can't, I can't remember how to play whatever that uh, Metallica song was that I tried to sneak in there. But anyways, yeah, this is, it, you know, I paid 95 bucks for this, and it's not a bad guitar. The, like I said, the, the frets are a little sharp. Uh, I'm probably just going to, I have a few real cheap files uh, for that. I'll probably work on a few of those. Uh, it's getting kind of warm in here, so I don't know how I heard it kind of going <clears throat> out of tune a little bit. Uh, I may need to adjust the neck. I have not, I have done nothing to this guitar uh, as of yet other than tune it up and uh, stretch the strings out a little bit. But uh, let me tell you, again, if you're somebody that wants to get in, get into modding guitars, this would be a good place to start if you're looking to do humbuckers and that. Because um, it's, uh, in the end, it, right off, it's just a good bass. You know, it's, it's a safe guitar that you don't have to worry about screwing up because it's only $91 right now. And in the end, you get a pretty, pretty damn good, you know, gig bag that you can use for like like i'm thinking maybe i'll use from my les paul if i want to sometimes we go to the beach for a couple of weeks and i might want to bring a nice guitar but i don't want people to know that i'm bringing a nice guitar so you know that's a benefit there anyways i hope for this was helpful to you i mean 91 bucks yeah i i recommend this damn thing uh even if it had some other things that were kind of wrong with it you know it would it would still be a decent deal factoring in factoring in the good gig bag. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel. Really helps us out. I mean, we are, I, I've said this before, but damn, we're close to a thousand. Want to get to a thousand and beyond. We are so close. Please subscribe to the channel. And remember, keep rock alive.